Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so I am actually shopping for a motherboard. In this case, I want to get another B660M. Now, I have certain things that I like about them, and uh, we're going to compare all of these examples on the screen. They're, they've even recommended this MSI Pro H610M, uh, and I'll talk about that one, what, uh, you know, what the main differences are. Obviously, the chipset's different, right? This is all for LGA1700. Will support 12th gen Intel, any of the 12th gen Intel chips. And as, as of uh, this video, I don't believe there's been any surprise Intel chips that have come out that you would need a BIOS update. So right out of the box, these should work with all the 12th gen. Now, if you remember back to 10th gen, there were some CPUs that came out later that needed BIOS updates. But for right now, as of this video, these will all support them. So... That's kind of, uh, you know, nothing to, uh, to worry about. So one thing you can see across these, they all have four RAM slots except for the cheaper H610M. RAM speed will be probably up to about 5,000 for these three. It's all DDR4. This guy, depending on the type of RAM you have and that it's compatible, will only be good up to 3200 megahertz, okay? So uh, assuming you have RAM that can be overclocked, that's the best you're going to get. So for certain applications, certain games, you will see better performance out of these, okay? Wi-Fi. Only one of these motherboards has Wi-Fi. This is the main reason why it is so pricey. Now, if you were to buy any of the others shown here okay you're going to put a graphics card in here depending on big your graphics card is it might cover this one and then you may be able to get a wi-fi card in here and we're talking pcie y card wi-fi card but it might somewhat block one of your gpu fans so that's kind of a negative and of course any of these two you could uh, waste a PCIe spot right there, okay? Now this guy only has one additional uh, one inch PCIe, so you have no choice but to put it there. Heat sinks, all right, for your uh, VRMs. You would expect these two motherboards probably to have the best VRMs. Potentially, they'll have a better power limit setting that you can do for say an i7 i9 if you're looking at this for uh, Celeron Pentium i3 i5 locked i5 okay it's really most likely not going to matter which one of these you take uh, except for you will be interested in either the Wi-Fi or the RAM speed that you get the higher RAM speed with these guys all right Maybe additionally, you want to have a second graphics card, right? So if you've seen a lot of my test setups, there may be a second graphics card. Matter of fact, uh, there's probably 20 computers here that have second graphics cards on the motherboard. So common thing here, I would not buy a motherboard without it. So most likely this guy's going to fall out just because of that, right? Do I have to have Wi-Fi? Well, I have a ton of Wi-Fi cards, so... Not that big a deal, um, but, you know, so I could do any of these, but once again, this doesn't have the PCIe, uh, and we could put it in one of these two slots. Now, I do have graphics cards as big as our TX 3090. If I was to use it with this, I would have to put that PCIe card here or use a UC USB thumb drive or obviously plug in with Ethernet, right? So price-wise cheapest sec you know then you've got this one and the one that i'm i'm pretty much eyeing and then the one with the built-in wi-fi now to be honest with you if i was going to buy this i'd probably spend 20 more dollars folks and get an even better motherboard than this i would go full atx let's see what else do we have here obviously 12th gen so we talked about it it's going to support all that the chipset, right? This is the only one that differs. Integrated graphics, only if you have a CPU that has that. 
DDR4. So if you have a lot of RAM, right, like yours truly, you might have four sticks of eight, four sticks of 16, whatever. If you want to get, obviously, more RAM, a higher amount of RAM, this will support up to 128 gigs. You're probably stuck here, I believe, at 64 gigs. So um, will that matter for most of us? Not really. There are certain applications where having a lot of RAM does, but you are somewhat limited. Now, like I said, if you have a supply of RAM and you wanted to do more than, uh, let's say I had, I was stuck with four, four eight gig sticks. This would be a better motherboard, any one of these three, right? Over here, I can only use two of those or I've got to go spend more money and buy two 16 gig sticks. So not such a great thing. Um, PCIe 4.0, all of these have that, right? The one inch slots, they're all gonna be PCIe 3. So the bigger, uh, excuse me, the secondary PCIe 3.0, that only matters obviously if you have a secondary graphics card that is PCIe 4.0, right? And will it matter that much? Probably not. M.2 slots, okay? One, this has two, this has two, that has one, okay? So to be honest with you, Somebody like myself who has a ton of M.2s, this kind of stuff matters, okay? So I'm leaning in on the middle. This one is not very attractive to me at all, okay? Same for the audio for both of these. Ethernet. This guy appears to have an upgraded Ethernet as well as this one. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth, okay? So if you want to be able to connect, obviously, with these things, um you need this motherboard out of the three. So we have all this stuff down here, two HDMI, two HDMI. That may matter to some people if you're gonna use integrated graphics. Audio jacks, all very similar. USB, quantity USBs, very similar. This is gonna have the worst of them, most likely. Um, and what I mean by that, you can see it has more USB 2.0s and less of the 3.2s, okay? Now, I'm pretty certain, folks, of what I'm going to buy now. I'm going to buy this one, all right? So add that to the cart, or I would if I was signed in. And uh, honestly, you know, for $26 more, a lot of you, it may benefit you to get the Wi-Fi. But like I said, there are better motherboards out there in this 150 range to 170. I would consider those over this. But uh, I just need a motherboard, like I said, that can support two graphics cards. I want to have multiple M.2s. And just for the sake of it, I want to be able to have more than two sticks of RAM. So thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.